It's the Radiant King, Bo Gustus, Tundra Kids all day. You already know. I've been rapping forever, so it's like I can't even really, really tell you. I know I've been, because I've been freestyling since I was like six, you know what I mean? But I, I remember from back then, I had Rock Him tape, I had Cool G Rap first, you know what I mean? Like, I just was always around, so I can't even tell you. Man, I used to wear the, the LL Cool J. Joints, you know what I mean? Like the, the hats and shit like that. I was always immersed in that shit. So, what exactly got me into it, I can't even tell you. It's not just the culture itself. I draw my inspiration from a lot of shit, you know what I mean? Whether it's just me watching some animes. Like, to be honest with you, a lot of people, they think they'd be surprised. I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't, I haven't really listened to a lot of rap in a while. Like, I get a lot of my inspiration and shit from, like, R&B or some other shit like that. Cause they, they do more shit with their songs and shit. There's more intricate details to their songs as opposed to, like, a lot of, I say a lot of rappers. A lot of rappers, if you see some shit, they just got hooked like, first, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, I've been more listening to, like, other shit to try to get inspiration from time. But life in general, like I said, I could be. And walking down the street or some shit like that and just see some shit and then just trigger a whole thought and just take it from there. I, I love answering this question. Alright, where Bo Gustus come from? It's, a, it's, it's kind of a long story, but I'm gonna just truncate that shit a little bit. When I first was born, when I was rapping, everybody used to call me Bishop back when I was like 13 or some shit like that. Cause I used to like battle niggas in school and shit like that and everybody used to call me Bishop. But, you know, all these rappers had all these ill ass names. Like, Brock Kim, King Sun, and stuff. I was like, I just don't want to be, cause Bishop is my last name, you know what I mean? So, I was like, I don't want to just use my last name. Like, that shit just after a while, just got kind of whack. So, I was like, I was going through a crisis and shit. And it was this, this Killer Army song. I can't remember the name. I thought it was Winning Wars, but it's not Winning Wars. I can't remember it. the actual Killer Army song. But it was their first video they ever came out with. And I think it was Beretta 9. He said some shit like, something like, it's the Bo Gutter Law. Some shit, something like that. I'm like, okay. I was like, I'm going to use that like, as my name. So I was running with that for like a quick second. I was like, I don't even know what that shit mean. Like, Dude could be like, that That could be like some homo shit or something, you know what I mean? I was like, I don't even know what the fuck that shit means. So I was like, you know what? Or it could be somebody else's name. So I was like, I ain't trying to bite no other nigga shit. So I was like, I'm going to just try to figure out some other shit. Couldn't figure out no other shit. So I took that bow gutter law and I just cut it down to bogey. Do not ask me why. I just, I ran with bogey for like a year, two years or some shit. Like, I'm like this shit whack. And I even, I always knew this shit was whack. So one day, because like I said, I used to freestyle all the time and shit. I don't know if I was battling somebody or uh, I was in a cypher or some shit. But whatever happened, I remember, it. well, I don't know the exact line, but I know I was just going in. I was in my zone. And she, you know, I was like, no justice. It's Bo Gustus. I just said it, like, right in the middle of my freestyle. Right as soon as I said that shit, I was like, yeah, that's going to be my name. But then I was running with that name for mad long, but I was like, it don't got no meaning. So I was in detention and shit. It was one day I was in detention and some shit, so I was like, fuck it. I just broke all that shit down into an acronym, you know what I mean? So what Bogustus actually stand for is Born Original, Genetic Uniqueness, Structure to Isolate Cerebral Excellency. And that's how that shit came up, you know what I mean? Bogustus. I left, I left Brooklyn when I was young, you know what I mean? I left Brooklyn when I was real young. I was like three or four. I went back again when I was like 18, but I ain't really stayed that long. But... You know what I mean? My, my people, they, my people had moved, we was originally supposed to move to Boston. Like, you know what I mean? Like some shit had happened. My, uh, my brother and sister lived here or some shit. And they father had to go back to New York. So we was like, fuck it, we had moved to Buffalo. And that's how I ended up in Buffalo. So I've pretty much been in Buffalo ever since, you know what I mean? So that's why I always like, shout out Brooklyn because I go back all the time and shit like that. Just because, you know what I mean? And it's funny because I used to live right, I used to live on Downing Street. And the next street is St. James, and that's where uh, Big from, you know what I mean? So, I feel like this hip-hop shit is definitely supposed to be a part of me, you know what I mean? Like, all day, like, 
Every time I go back and shit, they got the motherfucking Biggie date. Like, it ain't like a parade, bro. Like, everybody had their Biggie shirts on and shit like that. Everybody show love on this, you know what I mean? It's a special day. But basically, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm from Brooklyn, but I represent Buffalo, you know what I mean? From the 716, that's where that Tundra kid shit comes from. Because it's always cold here, you know what I mean? So, Tundra kid to the death. Tundra kids. Like I said, it's like like how people always say, like I'm an 80s baby or some shit, you know what I mean? Like, me, I, I'm an 80s baby, but I'm also a Tundra kid, I'm a, I'm a child of the snow, you know what I mean? Cool kids, you know what I mean? Got a whole bunch of different meanings, you know what I mean? But basically, at the end of the day, it's like, it's like I'm from Buffalo, and I represent the cold, you know what I mean? Even though I hate the cold, I still represent it because this is where I'm from, so it's basically like somebody that was raised in Buffalo, you know what I mean? But you still gotta be ill with the buyers or some shit like that to some degree. You can't just be like, you're the Tundra kid, and you, you know what I mean? You want your fucking... I ain't about to call no rappers up. I ain't gonna call no rappers up, but you can't be on some sub shit to try to call yourself a fucking Tundra kid. To be a Tundra kid, you gotta basically... You can't be following trends. You gotta be a trendsetter, you know what I mean? You gotta... It, it's, it's a lot of qualifications, but at the same time, it's not, you know what I mean? It's like, because if you're trying to meet that criteria, you're not a Tundra kid, you know what I mean? You, you don't have to try to meet that criteria. Either you is or you're not. Like, that shit should be embedded in you already, you know what I mean? So I don't want y'all niggas trying to fill out Tundra kid applications and shit like that. Like, no, either you it or you not. Straight like that. I just dropped this hiatus is over joint mixtape. Definitely fire, you know what I mean? Cause, and just to elaborate, you know what I mean? The hiatus is over is basically because I took like a mean minute from this rap shit. I was in I wasn't on my shit, so it's basically me just dusting the rust off, you know what I mean? Some straight hip hop shit up on there. Still, you know what I mean, doing some things with that. I'm about to come out with a uh, mixtape, me and my homie uh Dave B. Shout out to Dave B. You know what I mean? E and G, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, our shit is called No Equivalent, P Prepare for Peace, Prepare for, excuse me. No Equivalent, Pray for Peace, but Prepare for War. You know what I mean? That's, it was originally supposed to be an EP, but niggas was just knocking out so many shits. You know what I mean? It was like, fuck it. Like, we might as well just change it to a regular, like, not like an album, but like, it's more than a mixtape. I'd say like a street album or some shit. Then I got a joint that I'm more than likely gonna have it free for like free download called The Gustus Legacy. That's more like me just going in on industry beats. Might put a few original shits on there or something like that. It was something like I decided I wanna just give back to the people and shit. Just because, you know what I mean? I've been gone for so long. I just wanted to like flood niggas with music now, you know what I mean? Just for the fans that always was patiently waiting for me. And the joint that I'm basically building everything up to is The Rain Has Begun. It's technically part two to the hiatus is over, but that's just going to be all original music. That's definitely going to be like a street album, and that shit, that shit crazy, but The Rain Has Begun is basically leading up, you know what I mean? The hiatus is over, you know what I mean? The Rain Has Begun, and then I'm still, you know what I mean? I'm still jumbling a few ideas for the last installment to that series, so... Just keep a lookout on that shit right there, you know? Shit, so basically... Do I wanna... Do I wanna get money off of it and everything like that? Of course, you know what I mean? Like... I feel like I'm at that level that I should be paid for, you know what I mean? But at the same token... I got love for it, so I do it for the love and I do it for the respect. I wanna... I wanna get to that point that... All the people that I respect... Be like, yo... You one of the nicest, and, or they not even talking to me. I ain't even in, in, in that room. I got nice niggas talking to nice niggas and be like, yo, who one of the nicest niggas you know? And they be like, yo, this kid from Buffalo, Augustus. And they be like, you know what? I think the same thing too. Then I feel like I'm on that path that I need to be. I'm trying to, like, that's why I say I came out with that Augustus legacy. It's basically, well, coming out with Augustus legacy is because I'm trying to lay the foundation so one day I could become a legend, you know what I mean? So it's basically trying to chronicalize my from me going from point A to point Z into becoming a legend. So everything that you're gonna hear is the legacy that I'm leaving behind. So that's basically what I care about, you know what I mean? Leaving a legacy and be able to leave a foundation and everything for my son and my nephew, you know what I mean? All that that they they could have something better. They could have a different outlet as opposed to 
always gotta do the things that people in the hood do to try to survive, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make a way for my family to eat and not have to risk their life. That's it. Shout out to Buffalo rappers, you know what I mean? They definitely always be showing love, you know what I mean? Whatever the case may be. Jay Heat, my man Nova, Cold Red, you know what I'm saying? Shit, like I said, my man Dave B, FWP, EMG Money Gang, he got like a thousand different joints, you know what I'm saying? Shit, everybody that's supported, you know what I mean? My man Gutter the Rep, you know what I mean? It's just, there's so many names I might be saying here that might offend people if I don't be thinking of anything. So basically, everybody that fuck with me, oh, I gotta say my man Mike Bronto, my man Bright Mike Bronto, that motherfucker always held me down. For real, for real. So definitely my man Mike Bronto, you know what I mean? But basically Buffalo in general, 716 as a whole, man. If you sitting there doing something positive or you trying to you grinding, man, you get love from Augustus and I, you know what I mean? I just hope that you return that love back, you know? Everybody say this a hater ass city and shit like that, but I'm hoping y'all niggas decide to turn shit around and prove everybody wrong, you know what I mean? Cause shit, we gotta unify to try to make some shit happen. But other than that, Shit. It is what it is. Augustus, tons of kids, be on the lookout for my shit. The hiatus is over. The rain has begun. Augustus legacy, no equivalent. Oh yeah, definitely check that J Heat and Bo Augustus Wrath of the Titan video. You know what I'm saying? That shit is definitely crazy. You know, I got another video coming out real soon. Listen up, joint should be um, coming out real soon. You know, so just, you know what I mean, just support 716, let me, let me scratch that, not just support 716, we support, we support real shit, you know what I mean, just don't support shit just because it's from the 716, just, um, support that ill shit, you know what I mean, because we saying here, we making music for y'all at the end of the day to appreciate, so, appreciate that shit.